Hey guys, uh, welcome back to a midweek uh, episode. Um, so basically what we're doing today is sanding. And uh, I'm going to show you all of the things we're doing to get ready to uh, get them skinned. Uh, so stay tuned. So here you can see my buddy Jason over there who's kindly taking a Monday off to come over and do a bunch of sanding. Uh, I hate this kind of crap. He's a perfectionist and loves doing this. And so he's over here working on the roof. So he's basically doing a, a initial flat off where we get rid of as much of the filler as we possibly can. Um, and then we'll uh, put some glazing putty on it. And then we'll uh, cover it in epoxy, let that get tacky, and then we'll start putting the carbon fiber on. So I'll take some video of that when we get to that stage. On this one, we're gonna have uh, some areas that we have to repair. You can see we've got some breakthrough there, but that's okay. Uh, we'll do some of the repair on there. And then we gotta start uh, masking it up. Uh, we're gonna uh, do some filler on these here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna tape it up, mask it off, and we're gonna paint a black edge all the way around each fin. So that'll be pretty cool. So uh, we're gonna get sanding and uh, we'll be back in a minute. So uh, after a ton of sanding uh, and body working, I think we've got this to where we're about to skin it. So the next thing to do is to cover the top side with uh, epoxy and to let it get tacky. Then we'll put on the carbon fiber. And we're going to start by using our thin epoxy resin. We've got ourselves a scale, a mixing cup. There's actually a liner in here I use. Um, that's the cheapest way I've found to mix this stuff. Uh, do want to kind of pull this out of here because if you have any left in there when it uh, goes off, it will uh, melt this uh, little plastic thing. So be really careful. Um, and let's go ahead and mix it up and uh, then we'll paint it on. So we've got our uh, stuff mixed. Um, we're using thin epoxy with a fast cure because uh, we want this to go off pretty quick so it gets nice and tacky. Uh, we've wiped the part down with uh, isopropyl alcohol just to get any greases uh, or waxes or oils off of it. Um, and now we're going to go ahead and paint it on. And you want to be, you don't want to glob it on. You want to get a nice even coat. So just uh, take your time and try to make sure you get all the nooks and crannies um, that you, where you want to stick the carbon fiber. So we'll get back when we're done. Now, since we're doing this in stages, we've got our uh, epoxy on. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to layer, put a layer of carbon fiber on the top. And we're just going to get the flat areas. And then what we're going to do is after we've done that, we will uh, put some tape on the carbon fiber, cut it where needed, and we will bend it, uh, get it to we'll put some epoxy on the edges, and then we'll bend it around and tape it onto the back. Now, having that said, you don't want a lot of drips and runs on the edges that you're going to be pulling the carbon fiber over or else you're going to get bumps on those edges. So just try to keep control of all your drips and, and whatnot um, and just a nice even coat. Uh, so we'll go ahead and let this get tacky and which should be in about an hour or so since this is a, a fast cure. And then uh, we'll go ahead and we'll uh, put the carbon fiber on. So stay tuned for that. So now that our uh, epoxy got uh, tacky, we put our carbon fiber um, on the part. And as you can see, it looks really nice. Um, this is a little bit heavier carbon fiber than we've been using. Uh, this is uh, 256 grams per square meter, I believe. And... Um, I think it's laying a little bit better than the thinner stuff. So it's a little heavier, and so I think it 
adheres itself better to the substrate. So we'll see. Um, but it's looking nice. We're going to leave the excess here because we're going to want to try to form this around as much of the part as we can. So um, anyway, we'll come back later after this dried and then we'll uh, use some more epoxy and uh, start forming it around the part. Now we've done some of the folding around the edges. Um, I don't have extra epoxy on there yet, but uh, we just want to make sure that we can hold all the corners, get them nice and tight, and we don't want anything drying where uh, it's not going to be nice and tight up against the part. So, so a few clamps, we'll let this dry overnight, and then we'll uh, start doing a top coat and folding the rest of the carbon fiber over. Now don't worry too much about when you get like little wrinkles and stuff and separations because you can always come back and put another uh, dress piece on top of that. And I usually do that with this stuff which is our web lock so it cuts and doesn't fray. So you can do some decorative um, fixes uh, with this particular carbon fiber uh, which is really nice. Well there you have it. Um, We've got uh, two layers of epoxy on this now. Uh, don't worry about the ripples because we're going to sand it down again. And then uh, we'll be able to uh, clear that. The other thing we got to do is we've got to do this lower deck. So we'll sand that down, uh, body work it, and get that ready to go. Um, then we also have to um, probably put a few more coats on the front side here uh, to get it uh, so that it's nice and flat. But that's kind of what we went through to uh, get a, a panel uh, skinned in carbon fiber. So there you have it, a little bit uh, more information um, and a video that's not on Sunday. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this little jaunt of ours with the uh, roof of the car. Uh, we still have a lot of work to do on it and uh, a lot of work to do on the other panels, but we're getting there. So um, it's a slow process and um, I'm pretty confident that uh, we'll eventually finish the project. It's just a matter of when. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you soon.